Hey, it's Christina with Tina Girl Travels. Today we're going to check out a little community called The Heart near Prince George. If you're relocating to Prince George, this is an area you may want to consider. Let's have a quick look on Google Maps of the area we're talking about today. Here we are in Prince George. This is Highway 97 and the downtown area. And as we head up Highway 97, this is The Heart up here. We'll do a little driving around, but mostly I just want to show you the amenities available in this area. Traveling north on Highway 97, we just crossed the Nechaco River on the north end of Prince George. And really all the way along to the heart, you'll see businesses. I can imagine it won't take long for this whole area to fill in and just become one big community. At this point from downtown Prince George to the center of the heart, you're looking at about 11 kilometers. As we drive through some of the streets here, you get an idea of what the neighborhoods look like. It's beautiful, lots of trees and old homes and new homes and everything in between. Let's have a good look at the amenities available to you if you live in the heart. Save on Foods is a well-known grocery store in British Columbia. This one looks to be a good size and would carry all the groceries you would need. This store also offers home delivery and has a pharmacy. In the same mall, you're going to find the Girlfriend's Brow Bar for all your eyebrow needs. You'll also find a Fabricland, which is a fantastic fabric store if you like to sew. The Nechaco branch of the public library is also in this mall. Across the street, you'll find the Salted Cracker, which is a really good soup and sandwich shop. It has four locations in Prince George, and one of them is here. Next to them is a veterinarian and a place called the Jerky Factory, which is a bit deceiving because they actually sell some pretty great foods like bread, cinnamon buns, pickled things, scones, eggs. You can check them out on their Facebook page and I'll add links to a lot of these places below in my description. As we cross the highway from Austin Road West to Austin Road East, we come to the Tim Hortons, which is a Canadian coffee shop named after a famous hockey player. Just behind Tim's, you'll find a home hardware store. And this one's a bit special because inside, you'll find the usual hardware stuff and a garden center, but you'll also find a pharmacy, a post office, bank machine, and a lottery counter. If you spin yourself around in the parking lot, you'll find the great Canadian oil change. Turning north onto Highway 97 again, we discovered we couldn't access the McDonald's or Shoppers Drug Mart in this direction. So we had to turn around on the highway and come back and take the little turn off here that you'll see in a second. An easier way is to turn right just past the salted cracker onto Medill Road. This area you're going to find a McDonald's with a drive through and the Shoppers Drug Mart. One last area of shopping I want to show you is just along the highway heading back to Prince George. Here you're going to find a Domino's Pizza, a Mr. Sushi, Salvation Army Thrift Store, a Subway, a liquor store, and an auto parts store. As you can see, the heart has great amenities available. Now one more thing that's super special about this area, the Heart Highlands Winter Club. So as I scroll in here, right up here is all the shops that we were talking about. And right over here are, is the Highlands Winter Club. It's actually a ski hill right in the middle of a neighborhood. We're not talking Whistler Blackcomb here, but it's a really great place to spend the day skiing. You can ski, snowboard, and even take lessons. The passes are less than $30 a day for adults. In the summer months, it turns into an 18 hole disc golf course. There are four elementary schools in the area. Hart Highlands in the south, Glenview Elementary is in the east, and Heather Park Elementary and Shaz T. Kelly Road Secondary School are located on the west side of Highway 97. And just to the north, you're going to find Springwood Elementary School. All right, as we head back into Prince George on Highway 97 heading south, I'm hoping you enjoyed seeing this video on the heart. It's a great little community with a population of nearly 4,000 people. I have lots of video on Prince George on my channel that you'll want to check out. So please give my video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Our drive today ends on the shores of the Nechaco River at the beautiful Northern Lights Estate Winery. You can check them out on my video called Five Top Places to Visit in Prince George.
Thanks so much for watching today and I will see you next time on Tina Girl Travels.